Quick shout out to my Patreons who keep this channel going. You can join my Patreon down in the description below. What's guys, welcome back to the channel, and today, for the first time in a year, literally a year, we are watching World Trigger, episode number 47? 7, yes, episode 47. Uh, this one's titled The Captain's Pride. Uh, I assume The Captain's Pride probably being Osamu's pride, and probably maybe reclaiming that pride? Hopefully, I mean, he's kind of... They've set this episode up so that it's... Osamu's time to shine, really. Cheek has done her job magnificently throughout this B-Rank war. Um, Yuma has obviously done his job by defeating what's-his-face, I forget, sleep memory guy, um, in the river. Uh, and now it's time for Osamu to do his bits. They flooded the city to force people out into the open. This is Osamu's time to shine. I want to see him, I want to see him do something, because, like, Osamu is useless at this point, still. I want that to change. I want the turning point of Osamu to finally happen because I I know it's going to happen. At least I hope it's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, I'll be very disappointed. But I want it to happen here. This is like a good point. Like he's got the tactics down. Now he needs to get some fighting capability. Like right, the tactics are really starting to come up. I mean, the to blow the bridge, to flood the city. Like these are great ideas that he's utilizing the strongest points of his team, he just needs to be another strong point in that so that he doesn't have to solely rely on them, right? I want that to happen. I hope it happens. I just want to see him do something badass, really. Um, I mean, he did have that one moment where he figured out, oh, what was it? It was in the training and, like, he figured out how to use his, like, shield in a certain way after, like, a hundred losses or something stupid. Um, well, I don't think it was a hundred, but you know what I mean. Um, he had that one moment which showed like his mind is getting there, but he needs he needs to have the combat anyway. Uh, I think we're, that's exactly where we're stepping in after the city's been flooded. Chica's done her bit. Chica's now just hiding for the rest of the tournament just to avoid being a kill. Uh, Yuma, I guess is saved since the city's been flooded. I don't know how long he can last because he was. He was injured in that fight with Sleep Boy, wasn't he? I think. So I don't know if he's just uh, losing Treon naturally and he's just going to bail out soon anyway. Or if he's still operational. If he's still operational, great. That makes this last fight probably a bit easier. But at the same time... I mean, if they all survive, that would be a clean sweep, right? So that would be pretty impressive to come out with a clean sweep of your entire team. That would be very impressive, actually. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think I think he's technically done. Like they said, he was gonna wash out to wash out the river and have to bail out. But since the river is now the entire city, I don't think that's gonna be a problem anymore. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, the one other thing that was in the recent episodes is that Hughes is it is it pronounced Hughes or is it how you say? I I can't remember how to pronounce his name. Uh, from the one of the neighbors that invaded from what's it's called? I have no idea which which planet thing it was that invaded. It was one of like the big military ones that had like a lot of artifacts and stuff. Um, it'll all start clicking back to me as we get watching again. Uh, maybe for the first time, these recaps are actually gonna be very helpful. Uh, I normally hate these like three minute recaps at the start of World Trigger episodes just to pad for time, but for once, I might actually really need these. Uh, but we'll see. Um, but I feel like I'm fairly solid on where we are now. It's just the older stuff I can't remember. But he's around, and he's with us at uh, Tacoma. So, Tacoma? Uh, Tamacoma. Jesus Christ, Tacoma. Um, why don't they just call it Tacoma? It's so much easier to say. Anyway, uh, Tamacoma branch. Um, and yeah, he's been watching, and exactly what he said he would do, Asamu ordered to do. So... Yeah, that's a good sign that Samu's thinking on a high level. Uh, if he's uh, thinking on the level of a neighboring invader, so. But yeah, I think this is probably going to be the conclusion to this uh, B rank war. I mean, it's just well, aside from Chika and potentially Yuma, it's Samu and the two and one other from each team. So they have a heavy numbers advantage technically. So that should mean it's a win for us, and I assume it would be a win, because I didn't think they'd necessarily show a loss, unless it was a very close loss. Uh, but this doesn't seem like a close loss, because they'll never find Chica. At least I don't think they will. Um, 
I lost my train of thought there for a second. Uh, so yeah, um, like I said, there should be a win. And there's not really much more they can really stretch this out to. Uh, I do remember from conversations with uh, Spitz, who originally requested this series. Sorry, it's taken me so long to get to the Spitz, by the way. <laughs> you have the patience of a god to still be with me uh, and posting in my Discord after all this time. Um, but I do remember this episode and 48 we watch, and then after that we skip to 63? I'll have to double check exactly where in the 60s I'm skipping to, but I know there's only like 10 more episodes after that in season 1 that we need to actually watch, because they go into a training arc that was all anime original content that doesn't actually matter because of the author's um... It, was it his health at the time? I, I understand the author has a lot of um, health-related breaks uh, and is continuing to have health-related breaks uh, even to this day, so I think it was a case of he took a break at this time, or was there just not enough content ready at the time, and they were like, well, we've got to keep going somehow, we've got to stretch this out for as long as we can, and then realized, hmm, maybe we should just end the season here somewhat soon, instead of making this like a new Naruto that's like every damn week, uh, we'll actually just call it a season, and then we'll go back to making regular seasons from that point, uh, like seven years later anyway. Um, I think it was a health someone more knowledgeable about World Trigger will know about this, but I know we're skipping from 48 to like 63-ish somewhere, so I uh, don't think I haven't forgotten that. But Anyway, I don't really need to say much more than that. I think I know where I'm at in the story, and I think I remember the character names. At least I think I've remembered four of them. I'm doing well. Uh, and of course I remember Jin. Uh, how can I not remember Jin? Uh, so episode 47, The Captain's Pride. As per usual, uh, we are doing timer-based format reactions here on YouTube, so bottom left of the screen you'll see a time for the episode. I'll count you down 3, 2, 1, play. And on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we should be in sync. Uh, we do have some logos ahead of us on this one, uh, since it's, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, my crunch roll has literally just broken, by the way, as I was preparing this, so I'm gonna have to pull it back up. My crunch roll has just died on me. Um, episode 40, where are we? <laughs> Typical. Um, <clears throat> But we do have like 14 and a bit seconds of um, 14 and a bit seconds of uh, the promotional stuff of the first, like Toei Animation, I believe it is, right? It's Toei. Yeah, Toei Animation. So we've got like 14 seconds of that to begin with. Then we go into the recap. And then from there, we obviously go into the episode. So uh, I'll call them out as I go past. Uh, like I said, watch the Crunchyroll version, which I think... It still requires to have. Is it still required to be a subscriber on Crunchyroll for this series? Because Crunchyroll has changed a lot. Uh, obviously, I've got the beta version of Crunchyroll now for watching it, and honestly, I do kind of like it. I like the dark mode that they've got going with this. Uh, but I don't remember what the membership like details are for new shows. Like, isn't it like certain shows you get the first three episodes for free, but then you have to be a um, a member from that point? I think. And then World Trigger was always weird because you had to be a member even for an old show like this. So, I don't remember. If, if you're a member on Crunchyroll, I mean, it, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? So, anyway, um, that's all the good stuff. Uh, you can use the, uh, the mic and uh, you can kind of use this uh, headset to see the screen flash for helping with uh, transitions. Uh, it's not as good as my old headset because there's the mic in the way, there's less of a reflective surface, but it does still kind of work and I have been using it to edit. So, it kind of works but just trust me on syncing up and if we're watching the same version then it doesn't really matter anyway so anyway with all that said uh i've missed a couple of frames so i was loading pages let's get into uh episode 47 of war trigger shall we in three two one play so animation i forgot this headset resets itself every five seconds i need to change that it's really bad Just because it's not having any audio for too long. Here we go. The neighbors. Although they're not neighbors, they're whatever they're called, like trans soldiers. Yeah, neighbors are more the humanoids. Mm hmm. B rank wars, here we go. Mm. 
Mm hmm. This is another one that's squad. Yes, because it was opponent's pick. Mm hmm. Yeah, Yuma was wounded, yeah. Intentionally going into the river because it's a tactic they hadn't seen before. Mm hmm. Oh, it's all three captains, right. Oh, this was the super long pause on everyone's faces as the river got flooded. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I forgot World Trigger did this a lot to pad time. Size a moment. The captain's pride. I forgot no OP because they do the OP in the middle of the show on this thing. Nice, nice. Alright, one down. That's the one we didn't attack. Hey, there we go. That's a hit. Very nice. How? Oh, hell yeah! Come on, Asamu. Oh. Oh. Read him so easily. Is he done? Easter. After all that, that's how Osama goes out. Aww. I mean, she's probably going to bleed out, right? I think you're wrong. Two people left, yeah. They flooded the city. Can we... Nah, I have to bail out. So I guess we don't get the point for that. The other team gets the point. Because it's a point for a kill, but like overall points for wins as well. Yep. That was a quick resolution. <laughs> yeah. They get the point. Mm -hmm. So they got two points in the end. Two points for survival, yeah. Four, three, two. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then there's a Samu. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think he really wanted to get that point, though. <laughs> he really wanted that point. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, did the summer even need to go for the point? Would it have been better just to deny the enemy an extra point off of you? Knowing that Yuma probably could have swept up. I don't know. I guess we'll see what Osamu's thinking when we get back. <laughs> last, last minute. <laughs> mm hmm. He knows that move now, probably. Mm 
Roundup time. He really wanted that point. Mm hmm. They adapted. <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. West Bank Battle. But sure. Hmm. That's fair. Okay. That's true. Interesting. That is quite tough. Hmm. That's very true. Yeah. But. Okay. Hmm. Okay. He's the tactician. Oh, I'll be turned. There we go. I mean, it's true. Like, Asabo is not a combat person, really. He's the tactician. I guess Makuma did kind of have to go for... I guess he kind of had to go for the extra point there. To take the hit so that Kuga could actually, like, survive. And deny them a, a fourth point. Well, no. I guess he didn't necessarily know she was going to be hit by... Thingy's attack there. 
Like, he wouldn't have bet on both the captains taking each other out, right? I don't know. Does it make me wonder if it's worth him trying to go for the extra point if he's just given his enemies an extra point? Made it a little closer than maybe it needed to be. But. Alright. Yeah, so blah blah blah. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. That's a bit. Hmm. Fifth, okay. Oh, likely to move up. Oh, they haven't shifted yet. Oh, we'll find the A-rank reserves. Oof. <laughs> don't wish bad on an opponent. Improve yourself, but don't wish bad on people. Because, I mean, ultimately, it is a competition, but we all work for the same cause. We want all of us to improve. Oh yeah, I guess that would be it for the day matches. I guess there's night matches as well, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Mm, dismissive. Hmm. That's hmm. That's gonna be a real test. I guess this is our future rivals. Hmm. Yeah, don't underestimate anything about an opponent. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Is that all she can do? That's a good point. Could she shoot someone? Hmm.
<laughs> oh, hello. Sounds a bit harsh. <laughs> Hard to believe you're actually a captain. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Hey, Shin. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Sure, all right. By the way, amazing, okay. I don't think that would be very tasty. Hello? Koga's ability is so good, but also problematic. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> hmm. Still, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I figured that might start eating away at him. But you earned your team four points. Ranking update. We'd be ranked six. We're in top group. Who are we fighting? Nanomia squads. Kagura and Asma. Ooh. 
So if there's ever going to be one we lose, this might be one. But again, I don't know if this show will actually show us losing or not in the B-Rank Wars. To be continued. Fun fact time. That's true. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm waiting for the punchline. What's happening? <laughs> What's that going to thing? Okay, we're not watching the previews because they're spoilerish. I remember that as well. Um, good episode. I'm man. I wanted Samu to have a cool badass moment at the end there, but well, not at the end, at the beginning of the fight. This episode, I wanted it to happen, but I guess he's not gonna jump up that much immediately like I, def I thought even like a wounded Nasu maybe he could have done something but no it didn't happen did it even wounded he's not able to defeat her bit of a shame and the fact that he's not getting points again is playing on his head I wonder if that's going to play into his decision with the next fight I wonder if he's going to be like, I can't rely on Yuma every single time to secure all our points. We need to do something. I need to earn points as well. I wonder if that will make him choose a suboptimal strategy for his team, but one where he has to pull his weight. And that's the point about Chica not being able to shoot people. She hasn't shot anybody yet, has she? She shot buildings, she shot bridges, but she's not actively shot at a person yet, right? I don't think. I mean, that's what they're heavily implying anyway, but I'm just trying to remember. I mean, obviously in training, they're having her shoot, like, well, training dummies and stuff, but they're not actual people. But even in training, I don't think she shot anything but a neighbor, right? Or a, a, the, the Trion soldier things. Um, what are they actually called? Because I... I don't want to get it wrong, and I feel like I might. Uh, I mean, they are just called Trion Soldiers, right? Yeah, Trion Soldier, drone made out of and running on Trion. Send a scout, retrieve, and capture. Yeah, so. I'm calling that right. Um, right. Um. Yeah, they're kind of setting up. Like like I said, if we're going to lose one, it's against the top, top rank in here. Like, we're going up against the big boys immediately. And then from there, I guess... But I guess the... I guess season... Where's the season one end? I guess it ends, like, at the end of B-Rank Wars? I mean, like I said, I think we've got another ten episodes after this, so... Um, I think something like that. I don't remember, but yeah, I think Asamu not being able to get points 
is going to play on his mind. I do agree with the point. Will she be able to shoot anyone if she needs to? I wonder if... Who's the guy that's been training her? I can't remember his name. I'm, character names are out of my head right now. Is it Fuyashima? Is this the guy? This looks like it might be the guy that's training her. Um, no, is it Reiji? Yes, Reiji. He's he's the one. I got them mixed up. Yeah, Reiji is the one that's uh, training her. <sighs> Has he explored that possibility of can she actually shoot someone when it matters? I guess we'll see. We'd have to really see, I guess, for that one. Uh, and then Hughes was nowhere to be found. Obviously, these three, Osamu, Yuma, and Chika, have no idea about Hughes, and I guess that's intentional, probably. Like, they're probably not meant to know he's still around. Um, but yeah. Good episode. I'm excited to be back into it. Uh, I've, I've, I'll double-check, but I'm fairly certain we are watching episode 48 here. Uh, let me just double check that real quick because I think I still have the conversation I had with Spitz about this. I think it is 48. Yeah, episodes 1 to 48, then it's 64 to 73. I was close. I was very close. Uh, so we do watch 48, which is titled And Towards the Future. Um, I guess this one's going to be a bit more relaxed at least. Compared to the last one. But. Um, yeah. Uh, after that. After we finish uh, 48. Uh, which I'm just about to go record. And have that ready. Uh, we will uh, go straight to 64. As per recommendations. And skip the uh, like filler arc. So I'm, I've no real interest in going through a filler arc like that. Uh I'm, as far as I'm aware, it's just like a training arc where some like other characters get introduced and stuff, which have no bearing on season two or season three for that matter, or anything after this. So I'm fine with just skipping if it's anime original content that doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll do that, and then we'll be finished with season one relatively quickly. I mean, should only take about another month or so at current pace to finish season one, and then we can look into getting into season two. Uh, very, very soon as I figure out what I'm going to do after I finish Sympho Gear, Log Horizon catch ups as well. Because hopefully it kind of all works out that Sympho Gear, Log Horizon, and World Trigger kind of all like complete at near enough the same time. I know World Trigger is going to take a little longer because there's technically more episodes of World Trigger left for me to do. Uh, Sympho Gear is the one that's going to be finished first, just because I had less of it to do, but. I guess we'll see what ends up happening with uh, the rest of those. But anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments before you the episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see uh, the next episode, which should hopefully be in three days' time from this one, uh, as well as the rest of my library you can find here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.